Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be creating this gorgeous mint and gold nail set. I'm so excited about it, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see how I created it, then just keep on watching. As always, I will list and link all of the products in the description box or on the post depending on where you are viewing this video, but everything is available on my website which is glitterplanetuk.com. So I'm going to be using the natural stiletto easy tips for this set and I'll be trimming them down to a nice coffin shape as well. I'm using the instant nail glue to apply the nail tips. I'm just using a small amount at the contact area and then I'm holding that onto the nail and allowing that to dry in position. I'm just going to apply all of the nail tips and then we can come in with our clear base. So now I have all of the nail tips applied. This is what the hand looks like and we are ready to trim them down. I just wanted to let you guys know as well that these practice hands have been restocked on the website. So if you wanna check them out or you are waiting for them to come back in, now is the time to go head over to Glitter Planet and check out the practice hands. We've restocked a couple of styles. So I'm just using the nail tips to trim down the length of these and that's going to make a beautiful coffin shape. It is so easy and effortless to do, which is why I love the easy tips and so many of you guys love them too. Okay, so now we are prepped and ready to go with our set. I'm coming in with the Nailmate Crystal Clear Acrylic and I'm just applying a clear base onto the nail. If you want to head over to my YouTube channel or my beginner playlist on Facebook, I do have a how to apply nail tips, clear base, all of that good stuff, all of the back to basics where I go in depth and share all of my knowledge with you guys. So definitely check out those. They are available on Facebook and on my YouTube channel as well. So yeah, lots of content for you guys to enjoy. Okay, so now I've already gone ahead and applied my clear base to all of the nails. I'm coming in with the design and I'm using Mint Ninja on this first nail. I'm applying that to the cuticle area and then I'm gonna be blending it down. I'm starting at the cuticle for this bead because I just want a thin layer of color. If I wanted to build up it a little bit more, I would start in the center and apply two beads to the nail. But because I'm coming in with some glitter over the top, I don't necessarily need to do that because then I'm gonna be capping in clear as well. So I'm just working that product around nice and smoothly, keeping it as neat and uniform as possible. Just need to add a little bit more to the free edge there because it was just not as kind of full as I'd have liked. Moving on to the ring finger, I'm coming in with Mint Ninja again. I'm applying that to the center of the nail, allowing the bead to level, and then I'm gonna pull that product down to the free edge. You don't wanna pull it down so that it's super thin, whereas, you know, so it's like uneven, you want it to keep it an even thickness across the nail, just to make sure that you are keeping that structure balanced throughout the application process. After I've applied Mint Ninja and I've blended it back up the nail, kind of feathered it out a little bit, I'm coming in with Pirouette, which is our gorgeous shimmery cover powder. I absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful cover with the perfect amount of like reflex, sparkles and shimmers in there. So I'm applying my first bead where my Mint Ninja ends, blending that down the nail, and then I'm gonna come in with my cuticle bead and do the same. Make sure to keep it nice and neat and tidy around that cuticle. Tuck that product in and make it flush.
So once I finish that nail, I'm going to move on to the middle nail. And this is going to be a full nail of Mint Ninja again. But on top, we are going to be adding our glitter and our gold leaf foil. So I'm excited for that. It looks absolutely gorgeous together. The gold and the mint just pop and work for these nails. It just looks really, really pretty. So this is called Sea Breeze and I'm applying that with the clear acrylic nail powder. I've picked up my nail glitter with the clear powder and then I'm placing it on the nail and moving that product around. Once I'm happy with where it's placed on the nail, I'm going to come in and add my gold foil. Moving on to the pointer finger, I'll be back to the other nail to add the gold foil in a little minute, but moving on to the pointer finger, I'm coming in with Pirouette and I'm applying a full cover of this um, acrylic powder. So I'm applying a nice large acrylic nail bead, kind of in the center, just a little bit further up where kind of the apex would be placed just to build most product up there. And then I'm coming in with my cuticle area bead and I'm placing that on the nail, allowing it to level slightly because that's going to help me to not have to kind of do as much work. And then I'm going to lightly push and place my product where I want it, using my nail brush as a barrier between the product and the cuticle and skin and the side walls because you don't want any product touching the skin at any time. Once I've got the cuticle where I want it, I'm blending that nail powder down the nail into the other bead and that's going to give us a really nice even coverage. Coming back to the pinky nail, I'm using the crystal clear acrylic powder and I'm just washing that across the nail and then I'm picking up a few pieces of the glitter that I've used on the middle nail and applying those onto the Mint Ninja. Not too much, I don't want to kind of go overboard with it, not as though I did the other one, focusing a lot of it in the centre. Next I'm using some gold leaf foil. I absolutely adore using this on sets of nails. I think it just really adds a little bit of something which is super interesting and so rich and vibrant and just really classy and just it just looks fabulous. So yeah, um, we have the 12 pieces in stock so you get 6 gold and 6 silver. They might well be out of stock now. I feel like they might have sold out but we are working on restocking them. You probably already have these in your drawer. I mean, most nail techs or people who love doing nails have these somewhere in their collection. Um, now's the time to get them out and use them. So I'm using a wash of clear acrylic again on the nail. I'm brushing that on the nail lightly and then I'm picking up the gold leaf and placing it on the nail. I did break up the gold leaf on the paper towel beforehand because if you try and pick up a massive piece of it and do it on the nail, you're just gonna struggle, it's not gonna be easy. So I always like to just take some dotting tools and just um, pull it apart on paper towel and then pick up the little pieces as I need them and place them on the nail where I feel necessary. So now that I've finished placing my gold leaf on the nail, I wanted to share you this look because damn, it looks mighty fine. Like it looks bomb. I absolutely live for it. And I'm so excited to do my nails. Every time I do a set on my practice hand, I'm like, ah, I need it on me. Um, yeah, it'd look gorgeous in any color as well as the base, like lilac rose, even the buttercup. Yes, living for it in all the colors. Um, I'm coming in now with Nailmate Crystal Clear Acrylic and I'm encapsulating this entire nail. 
So when you're encapsulating, you want to make sure that you do this as evenly as possible. You don't want a super thick area and then a nice thin area because, you know, it's going to unbalance the nail. It isn't going to have the correct structure and you're going to run into issues further down the line as your client wears the set or whether you're wearing the set. So try and make it as evenly as possible. You want the bulk of the product in down the center of the nail and across the apex area and you want it thinner on either side. So yeah, just working that product out. Don't forget as well, guys, I'm going to link and list all of the products in the description box down below. And you can pick up all the nail products, nail art, acrylic, gel, anything you need and can think of for nails. We have it available on my website, which is glitterplanetuk.com. And you can use my code NINJA5 for 5% off. We also do have a rewards program where you can kind of collect points as you spend or if you share like links you can earn points that way and yeah it's just a really fabulous system you get points for your birthday and things like that and for adding reviews to our website because obviously that helps out a small business but we also wanted to give back if you take the time to do that so you'll get points um so yeah definitely check out our rewards system as well I just wanted to share the powders that I've used in today's nail video. I've used Mint Ninja, it's available in 28 grams and 10 grams. And I've used Pirouette, which is our gorgeous shimmer glittery cover powder. Absolutely live for it. Meanwhile, I filed and buffed the set off of camera just to speed things up. And now I'm using the Super Gloss Gel Top Coat. This is a no wipe top coat, so once you've cured it, it is good to go. You don't need to wipe off any tacky layer. Um, but yeah, I'm just applying that to all of the nails and then we can come in and have a really close look. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think this mint turquoise and gold acrylic nail set is absolutely stunning. And I think the coffin shape just really complements the whole design. I think coffin shape or ballerina nails are one of my favorite shapes. I really do. Like, let me know what your favorite shape is. If you've got this far in the video, I'd, I'd love to know because it's super interesting. I mean, so many people love so many different styles. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, please remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye.